Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What movie really is rewatchable hundred times? I've seen Jurassic Park so many times I can do all the fucking dinosaur sounds at this point. I missed the part where the dinosaurs were fucking. Is that the director's cut? Edit, Jurassic Park. Life finds a way. Back to the future. Just watched this for the first time this morning. In one to rewatch movies a lot, and I foresee many rewatchers. Can't believe it took me so long to watch this, it's such a fun movie. My wife hates doing, seeing anything twice, yes, exactly what you're thinking. Except for eating, she'll eat the same meal every day if I wasn't cooking. Anyway, I showed her BTTF, and it's the only anything she's ever said, hmm. I'd like to see that again. The Princess Bride. Is this a kissing book? HPLD it, hold it. What is this? Are you trying to trick me? Office space. You know what, Stan, if you want me to wear 37 pieces of flair, like your pretty boy over there, Ryan, why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? Fun fact, Stan is played by writer, director Mike Judge, who based the Milton character on a co-worker he once worked with as an engineer before he got into the entertainment industry. The guy threatened to quit if they moved his desk one more time. There was nothing wrong with it, until I was about 12 years old and that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. Quote, Hmm, well, why don't you just go by Mike instead of Michael? Quote, no way, why should I change? He's the one who sucks. Quote, fun fact, no talent ass clown, was an ad lib by actor David Herman. Amazing addition, damn it feels good to be a gangster, is the best drop in any movie. Back up in your ass, with the resurrection. Lord of the Rings trilogy, extended edition. A cinema near me is doing a marathon of these tomorrow. Do I spend my whole Sunday watching it? Why aren't you in line now? Yes. Obviously. Fool of a took. Absolutely. Extended edition in theaters is a cinematic experience like no other. My friend, you bow to no one. Fears shall be shaken. Shield shall be splintered. The movies I tend to always come back to when I need something fun to watch, and I've seen at least 20 times each. The Mummy, 1999. Very easy to watch and enjoyable adventure. The Fifth Element. Just plain old fun and spectacle start to finish. Ghostbusters, 1984. One of the best comedies ever made. Big Trouble in Little China. Kurt Russell's Finest Hour. Best in show. 20 plus years later and it still makes me laugh. Airplane. Do you like gladiator movies? Cut me some slack jack, mama didn't raise no fool. I like my tea like my men, black. Sale at pennies. I've picked the wrong week to stop sniffing glue. He says that lots of times, you don't even run down court. And that you don't really try, except during the playoffs. The hell I don't kid. Excuse me, stewardess, I speak jive. The cockpit, what is it? Quote, it's the little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit, but that's not important right now. Quote, chump don't want no help, chump don't get no help. Cheater. <laughs> Galaxy Quest is just a masterpiece. By Grabthas Hammer, what a savings. By Grabthas Hammer, by the sons of Warven, you shall be, avenged. <laughs> Hot fuzz. Okay in same neighborhood but different house with this one, I'd have to go Shaun of the Dead. No, I mean, which one do you want to watch first? Yarp. There was a bit you missed earlier where I distracted him with the cuddly monkey, and then I said, playtime's over, and I hit him with the peace lily. The Emperor's New Groove. The only movie I actually have watched X100. The Fifth Element. Groundhog Day. My son and I used to stay up late on the weekends watching movies I felt had a certain cultural value, of which Groundhog Day was one. We watched it on DVD from Netflix one weekend before he went to a week-long summer camp with scouts. When he came back I told him I had gotten the sequel, Groundhog Day 2 and would watch it that night. We were a good 15 minutes into it before he looked at me and said, it's just the same movie again, isn't it? You have an awesome sense of humor. LOL. Shawshank Redemption. Andy, you know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific. Red, no. Andy, they say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. A warm place with no memory. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. Matrix. I've probably watched it over a 100 times. When it was released I had an illegal satellite card that gave me all the channels on Direct TV free. Their PPV would play it on 5 channels on a loop so you could start it any time you wanted. I watched it over and over and over whenever I was bored. I'll still stop and watch it if I catch it on somewhere. It's insanely engaging. The scene where they storm the office building to rescue Morpheus is the best action scene ever filmed IMO. 
That scene, specifically when they walk into the lobby and have a shootout, is what I use to break in a new sound system every time I upgrade or move to a new house, apartment. My cousin Vinny. Marisa Tomei when she was in her 20s. When she was in her youth. I'm not supposed to talk about it. His name was Robert Paulson. And he had bitch tits. First rule, second rule also. Shrek. Hot take, Shrek 2 is better. That's not a hot take if it's correct. That masterpiece also shows that a song cover can be just as good, if not better, than the original. I love me some Bonnie Tyler, but Jennifer Saunders, holding out for a hero, has been staying rent-free in my head since the first time I saw that movie. Die Hard, first one. And the third one, which is arguably a better film. Adding in Sam Jackson and Jeremy Irons will make literally any movie better. The Big Lebowski. That's just like, your opinion, man. Came here to make sure this was mentioned. It's down there. Let me take another look. This will not stand man. Pulp Fiction. Almost all Quentin Tarantino movies are rewatchable. Smiling face with hearts. Inglorious Bastards takes the cake as the most rewatchable one for me. The Hateful Eight is great on a rewatch too. What? Quote. What ain't no country I ever heard of. Oh brother where art thou? We thought you was a toad. Carrot carrot do carrot carrot not carrot carrot see carrot carrot the carrot carrot treasure. At one point half my vocabulary was from this movie. Bonafide. Trading places. Looking good Billy Ray. Feeling good Lewis. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Snatch. You like dags. Dags. Protection from what? Zay Germans. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's the fourth wall break done just right that makes it very enjoyable for me. Young Frankenstein. Any Mel Brooks movie, honestly. Yep, Blazing Saddles is at the top of my list. Ratatouille. Mean Girls. Blazing Saddles. I'm gonna watch that for the first time later today. Oh please let us know how you like it. Madeleine Kahn as Lily von Stupp was hilarious. Film might not have aged well but watched it with my teens who are not fans of cancel culture and they were mildly amused. History of the World Part 1. Try that too. The Empire Strikes Back. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I will always stop for it. Faceballs. Forrest Gump. A Knight's Tale. According to my toddler, Moana, Coco, Turning Red, Lilo and Stitch, and Lion King. Personally, I like all those except in not a Lion King fan, so I think she has pretty good taste. But I liked all of them better before she was born. Oh man. Coco tore me up. Great film. Is a good one, but it can only tug tears from my eyes so many times a week. The Wizard of Oz. I've been watching that movie since I was a child, and it never gets old. Can't say the same for me. Airplane. Shawshank Redemption. Step Brothers. It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. Why are you so sweaty? I was watching cops. Guilty pleasure for my daughter and I, Twister. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like the Lost Plot. Aliens, or Alien. Goonies, when I was a kid, I must have watched it 500 times. I can't believe how far I had to scroll to see this film listed. The Princess Bride. Dazed and confused. That film has no ending. You can play it on a loop. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Super Troopers. The Incredibles. Me and my siblings can practically quote that movie word for word, and mime, lip snyc along with it. Napoleon Dynamite. It's my, comfort, movie. Starship Troopers, LOTR, Demolition Man, Back to the Future Trilogy, Star Wars OT. I can't believe I had to scroll so far for Starship Troopers. Role Models. IDK it's a good movie. Oh because I'm black you think I did it. No, you did it is why I think you did it. That exchange kills me every time. I feel like if I suggested a game of Quidditch he'd come in his pants. Also, well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Bullshit and Doctor. I'm full of shit. Quote. In what way are we full of shit? Quote. Which one of us has the PhD? Quote. Tombstone. Harry Potter Marathon never gets old. In part because it's virtually always on at least one TV channel. T2. Lethal Weapon, though it's realistically quite a different film, I think it really gets overshadowed by Die Hard as the big action film of the late 80s but it's always been my favorite of the two and I never get bored of seeing it. 
Also the original Star Wars trilogy. First films I ever saw in the cinema. Blew my tiny little mind. Never get bored of watching them. I also forgot Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The original Die Hard is the superior film. But Lethal Weapon is, by far, the superior series, franchise. I will die on this hill. I'm getting too old for this shit. Hunt for Red October. Princess Bride. Die Hard. Not a movie, but Band of Brothers. Doctor Strangelove. Dumb and Dumber. There's absolutely no reason that movie should be so damn funny, but it always, always makes me laugh. You are one pathetic loser. No offense. Oh, none taken. Gladiator. The Dark Knight. Memento. Groundhog Day. Blade 2. Superbad. Interstellar. Well this little maneuver is gonna cost us 51 years. Ah, Interstellar. Back to the Future. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The original with Gene Wilder. The Godfather. The Birdcage, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Beetlejuice. Nightmare Before Christmas. Lord of the Rings Extended Trilogy. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Pulp Fiction. Ghostbusters. Stand by me. You never have friends like you do when you are 12, geez, does anyone? Pulp Fiction. Spirited Away. Clueless. Superbad. Labyrinth. Mrs. Doubtfire. My Cousin Vinny. Heat. Che7N. Fletch. Clue. Jurassic Park. The Hours. Muriel's Wedding. Faceballs. X-Files. First Movie. The Princess Bride. But I think 100 isn't enough.